What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a recovery team deathmatch gameplay. I go 25 and 13. I believe I'm using the BAL. Uh, I can't really see the gameplay right now because it's uh, preparing and I'm trying to get this video done for really, really quick because um, I have to or I have to get this out today. And I basically have two minutes to record an eight minute video so uh, I'm not going to get it done in time. But uh, well, it'll go off a little bit late. Um, so anyway, Today's topic is another high school stories video, and I'm I want to tell the, the Jungle Joe story. Uh, you guys are probably like, "What's Jungle Joe?" And I'll explain in a second. But um, <clears throat> and uh, it's it's a funny story. Uh, we talk about a lot of these things. We were goofing off one night, uh, uh, day one of Advanced Warfare, and um, it was me, Twist, and Maniacal, and we were all just talking and cracking up at each other and I told this story and everybody was dying for a straight probably 20 minutes um, so I'm just gonna get into the story so there's this girl at my school named Promise Joe she's straight from she was born in Africa born in Liberia she doesn't have an accent or anything but she was born in Liberia and she uh, immigrated here when she was like one so she doesn't even remember Liberia too much but everybody hates her because she claims to be some African princess and her dad's an African king and apparently and we all know she's lying because I don't even think Liberia has a king I think it's a president in Liberia so um, anyway so everybody hates her because she's a compulsive liar um, and uh, she's very got like she's very manly like she her voice is deep her voice is deeper than mine and that's saying something because my voice is deeper than a lot of kids in my school too um, her voice is deeper than my voice and deeper than some of the teachers voices so it's pretty bad how deep her how manly her voice her voice sounds you can't even tell she's a girl if you didn't hear her voice so um, anyway we uh, we were sitting there and uh, my friend comes up to me. He's like, "Yo, did you hear about Jungle Joe?" I was like, "No, why?" I was like, "No, what's Jungle Joe?" He's like, "So today in gym class, they were playing football, and one girl went to tackle Promise, and she pulled her pants down. Promise didn't have any underwear on, and you see this huge jungle." I was like, "Oh my god!" And I started like, and then, so now everybody calls her Jungle Joe, and everybody starts dying when I'm telling this story. Um, it was, I forget which friend it was, I think it was my friend, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name. It was my friend Alvin, I think, and, uh, he ran up to me and he tells me this story. I'm, si I'm sitting at my lunch table, or no, I'm not sitting at my lunch table, I'm sitting at my desk in homeroom. And I'm like, I'm like dying for probably all of homeroom, and homeroom at my school is 15 minutes, so. I'm dying for like all of homeroom. He told me this story right as homeroom was about to start, like right as I walked in. Because apparently everybody was talking about it in homeroom. And, uh, like I said, I was dying, and it was just hilarious. Um, because you have to, you really kind of have to know the girl, but there's been jokes going around. Like, one day it was like 8 o'clock out. It was 8 o'clock, it was over the summer, and it got dark really early here. Or no, it was like 6 o'clock, and it got dark really early because it was a rainstorm coming. And I'm talking to one of my friends, Dom. And Dom goes... Damn, it's as dark as promise out there, and it's only six o'clock. And I, everybody again starts dying. And um, there's just like everybody busts on her because she's literally she's uh, one of the darkest skinned people at our school. And I'm not trying to be racist. She's seriously just really dark skinned. Um, but it's really funny because she everybody calls her ratchet and everything. Um. And she says, I don't know what Ratchet is, and I'm from Africa. And she says all this stuff, like, and she says she's a tribal princess, and <laughs> it's just really funny. Uh, we know she's all, we all know she's lying, and it's pretty bad that she tries to lie with such elusive lies, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, that's the Jungle Joe story. Um, so. <laughs> I, that's really that story, I guess. Uh, I guess I could tell the story of, uh, 
Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this commentary and try to think of another story. All right, I'm back. So now I'm gonna tell you guys the story of at the time I got stuck in the elevator. I don't think I've ever told this story before, but it's a quick story. Um, so uh, my friend Mike broke his ankle. I think it was. Uh, he broke something in his leg. So he at my school, if you break a bone, you get an elevator pass. You get to bring one of your friends to carry your books for you and you get out of class five minutes early. So I had like eight classes, I, th I think I had all eight classes with him. Um, no, I had se I had six of my seven, or six of my eight classes with him. So he chose me to be the friend that carries books and uh, one day we get out of sixth period and we're walking to seventh and uh, my sixth period was math and my seventh was, um, uh, sorry, my seventh was ELA. So we get out of uh, sixth period and we're walking to seventh, and he's like, "All right, let's take the elevator up." Oh, we're only on the second floor. Sorry if you hear that phone ringing. Uh, it's my house phone. I can't really do anything about that. Uh, anyway, so we hit the elevator button. And we we're in there, and like it, the elevator stopped, and we're just thinking, "Okay, the floor's here." So. At, on our elevator, you kind of have to hit the open door button sometimes. Like, sometimes the door won't open by itself, so you have to hit the open the door button. So Mike hits it, and we're in between floors. And, like, you can see the top half of our elevator is at the, that's at the floor. So we probably could have crawled out, but we didn't want to crawl out, and then the teachers be like, well, you broke the elevator, and we'd get written up. Cause... So we ended up, he used his cell phone to call the school, and, um said that we were stuck in the elevator and we basically were trapped in there for all seventh period um, finally our seventh period teacher came and uh, uh, made sure we were okay and then the janitor came up got us out and it, uh, we ended up missing all of our seventh period not even having to make up any of the work and just uh, he, uh, he didn't take the elevator for the rest of the week. He just walked. He just crutched himself down the steps. It was really funny. He was terrified. He's like terrified of elevators now. It's really funny. Um, so we were only stuck in there for like a half hour. There was a girl that got stuck in there for over uh, an hour and a half. They, I think they ended up having to call the fire department to get her out. Uh, that, uh, that's a rumor. I don't know if that's true or not though. So. Um, Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. I'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been sick crazy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.